Welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you uh, the important things that are involved in getting free energy. Uh, we're using my circuit, which everyone's seen before. If you haven't seen it, can I please encourage you to go and check my channel out? And I have full tutorials on how you can build my circuit. And for uh, what are we looking at? 5.9 watts. We're running uh, one watt LEDs here. These LEDs, um, as we've seen in, in my previous videos, are running on the power line, a positive and negative um, to the circuit. And when the circuit's operational, it has a resonant frequency uh, of AC that is... Uh, traveling along those wires there and we can tap into that now all of these little coils I just got these new ferrite um, suppressors Balin suppressors they're cheap and nasty they still do the job uh, not as efficiently as these gray ones if we block some of that light we can see the gray ones there have a much uh, better contact of the magnetic elements so if we look there we've got two halves of a magnetic uh, toroid and so when those clamped together over the wire that allows that to pick up that uh, electro radio electric field or radio elect uh, radio magnetic electric field um, and so I've got these lights running with just one on each light and I've wound uh, different amounts of, coil, of wire on each light to try and determine the best resonant frequency. Um, so far it looks around about 12 turns I think this one is. Uh, and that looks to be the brightest they're all exceeding their brightness and I'll show you in a second they'll get even brighter and then so we've got those ones there I've probably got some more coils somewhere here what's this one yeah that, that one we chucked that one in there as well there's no room let's put that one there too Okay, so what do we got here? Uh, we got one, two, three, four. There's actually two there. Uh, five, six, one here is not working. I think that's not enough turns. No, I don't know. I'll have to investigate that one. Uh, but like I said, I'm just doing some experiments to find out what's the best turns. As I said, 12. So we've got um, 5.6, 5.9 was before for what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, this one over here, which we'll talk about in a second. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's not a one watt LED, but it's it's running off of that system, um, and then that four watt bulb is not really illuminated. And then I'll show you in a second. I'll connect connect up this capacity here, and then it will become properly illuminated, and uh, also increase the brightness of all these other lights. And for that 5.9 watts, we're running all those lights, and it can run more, um, but we're also charging a battery, charging that 12-volt battery there, capacitor bank. So this, this capacitor is being charged off of the grey uh, ferrite suppressors that are on the positive line and those there's three of those and they're all wired in series and then they connect to this capacitor 
and then that capacitor um well that's charged via the full wave bridge rectifier and then the output of that goes into these capacitors and then the output of that goes into the battery and so there's a decent a decent charge there and you make your own fireworks um, actually if I take if I take it off of um, the battery it ha has an even bigger uh, discharge there and there's just the importance like capacitors uh, can go in certain positions to enhance the situation we'll put that back on there if we leave it for a second or two it starts to build up that's a, a 1400 volt capacitor so that will that will build up some charge but it, it almost seems to have a better discharge if you're rapidly discharging it Anyway, so we'll put that on there and stop, stop being a clown. Uh, so we take these capacitors. They are 1.5 volt, 600 and, uh, sorry, 1.5 nanofarad, 630 volts. And we can test like they, I'll, as I said, I'll show you this one. Uh... Get the finger in the right position there. I'll show you that one there in a second, which will make that light bulb nice and bright and all the rest of them, as I said before. But if we test this capacitor here, got one of these uh, 336961 coils that I wound up, and that's powering that LED. Okay, so as I, let's try and get both in shot, hey? As I move that towards my coil, now that that uh, lights up nice and bright and if you take a capacitor you can find out where you should be placing the capacitor let's move that in there so it's obvious and all I do is just stretch out the legs of the capacitor choose uh, you know different capacitors and try try different capacitors and try them in different spots so if we go on this side, it's a bit tricky to get the light and the function all on shot at once. So we can see there's a small increase in brightness placed on that position of the diode. What about this side of the diode, of the coil, sorry? It's definitely an increase in brightness there and then you could try to this side of the coil an increase in brightness not as much but i think personally the most or the largest increase in brightness is from the negative side of the diode over to the coil side which is interesting because it's a non-polarized um, capacitor, but that has a drastic effect. So, and, and the reason why would you do that is just to find out where you should be placing your capacitors. You might also note that uh, when that's done, it affects the resonance of the entire circuit. So uh, those other lights, uh, are also affected as well only marginally but they are affected all right so that's the benefit of having these um, you know multiple variations of these coils and then when when you work out with the best place to put the capacitor uh, the AC capacitor you can then take these wireless rechargeable versions that I made and um, you can place that capacitor on on you know various positions on those to see how that affects um 
being that it has uh, the ability to capacitize that. And then the same for this one. I'm actually testing capacitor placement on that one. And that will change uh, charge time and run time. So, so that's always interesting. And so all of that for 5.9 watts. And, you know, someone said recently left a, a rather negative comment on my video and stated I didn't know what I was doing and then tried to jeer the crowd up against me. Um, to that person, I say to all persons that want to challenge me, I have no trickery in my work. I give you the full schematics at the end of the video. And in my opinion, as I stated in a comment, which he later deleted, removing my response. So I figure best way to silence people is uh, give them the evidence tell them to go look through it themselves but um, you know so he he decided he wanted to delete that um, me supplying evidence was not what it, I imagine he expected so um, look I'm not selling you anything I don't have any reason to try and trick you here uh, what you see is what you get. If you get off your ass and do what I've done, then you'll have what I have. It's really that bloody simple because I've shown you exactly how to do it. So um, the, the statement was it was questioned that 5.9 watts, that these lights aren't um, at full full lumens and maybe maybe those ones there are not because they're not the right values of turns for those suppressors so i just got these the other day i'm trying to work it out this one looks like it is the right one i think that's the 12 this one here is nine yeah it was really weird one of them one of these ones is one turn so it's a bit hard to – oh, it's not hard, but it's just time-consuming trying to get the the best results. So all right, on for the, for the big capacitor. If you want uh, to run all those lights and charge a battery and run that light properly, then you connect a capacitor to – on my circuit uh, to – the negative it's that same 1.5 nanofarad 630 volt goes on the negative of the battery and goes to the high voltage output line uh, on on the bulbs on the side that has the high voltage output line this this bulb is running through earth you know two earth rods are 60 meters apart so let's so you can see the initial flash, that's the brightness it stays at to the naked eye. And um, the camera is filtering out that, blocking some of that light so that it can display. So probably the best judge of illumination is on the side of my hand. And so... That also, I don't know if I can do that and get the lights in the shot at the same time. That also increases, if we go, the lights, other lights. So, pretty straightforward. It actually makes some of these lights that, like this one here that wasn't even working before changes that resonant frequency of the entire circuit bumps them all up so whatever winding that was uh, was not effective without that capacitor but with that capacitor it's now lit so 
That's about it, guys. Have to do the experiments. You have to actually put the little things together and sometimes make them go bang. All right. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. Have a nice day.